we're gonna take a look at how I was able to recreate this homepage of Netflix on Roku TV. This is loosely based on a recent Figma tutorial that talks about the auto layout feature they recently added. And I'm actually using the same Google Sheets uh, for, you know, pulling data such as these uh, movie covers and titles and things like that. So let's jump right into it. Okay, I'm only gonna carry over these um, these elements. This is just the um, sidebar. Uh, these are just free icons from um, Iconify, which is a free Figma plugin. Netflix logo, which you can just find online. And this is the actual link from the Figma uh, provided spreadsheet. So I'm gonna make a couple of pages, one for my layouts and one for my components. I'm only really using one component. Um, but I like to keep things organized. I need to call these cards. Um, um, this will be my movie poster. All right, and I'm gonna make a an overlay for the movie title. Perfect. Uh, the movie title itself, it's a placeholder. I'm gonna give it a um, fixed size. Rating will go up here. This will be white. Just gonna put some, uh, some blur on it. rather drop shadow great so my component is ready film card actually it's not ready because I have to call these very specific ways so that my um, spreadsheet will be able to see properly perfect so now for the layout to make it a TV size, call it one, it'll be easier to automatically create the next screens. Um, just gonna drop these in while I'm at it. Perfect. Lock this if I want to, as long as it's at the top, and so is this, because it will be overlaying. Um, and then I can just drop this card. I can duplicate it a bunch of times and make it a auto. Oops, an auto layout. Film row. I'll decrease spacing between items. I can now put this here. Perfect. Oh, Netflix Originals. Um, right there. Okay. Um, now we can start fetching that data. Um, I just launched this um, Google Sheets Sync plugin. Let's see what happens. Hmm? That's pretty good. Um, we'll do the same for these little ones down here. Duplicate this a bunch of times. Um, also, Shift A to make this into a auto layout frame. I'm um, gonna call this small uh, or film row small. Again, 16 padding or spacing. Perfect. 
we can make something up for this one, such as, um, I don't know, um, based on your search, boom, something like that. This obviously should be down here. Um, let's try and do this again, see what happens. Oh, nothing up is because I did not rename this property. So I'm going to rename this to pound sign or hashtag movie poster. And I do like to use camel casing. So first word is lowercase, second word um, uppercase. Rename. Let's do this again. And I do actually, I do summon this plugin, I do call up this uh, plugin by uh, command option P, which recalls the last plugin which you have launched. Um, now this causes a couple of issues. Uh, try this again. And I'm gonna put this in here. Um, yeah, it's just a syncing issue, I guess. So easy fix. Perfect. Okay. So now we got everything we need. Um, we can turn this black. We can turn this oh, white. Oh, one last thing. There's a cursor oh, that goes here, um, which is our selector. So it lets us know what movie is selected. Um, and that's why we are not going to be using the uh, scrolling behavior for this because um, because we're not really scrolling. Uh, we're not, you know, we're not doing. Oops, we're not doing this. As you can see, it would cause, you know, some issue. But we're actually moving through pages. These will act as pages. So I'm going to reposition this to be selected. Just gonna hack this a little bit to make it go where I want. Same with this uh, Ford and Ferrari movie. And Perfect. And this will actually be the movie that we do end up enlarging, which it does enlarge quite a bit. Um, it only leaves one and a half posters exposed. So that means that it goes to here, right? Um, and now for the cool part about this auto layout feature, all I have to do is just resize this and everything gets pushed, which is pretty awesome. Um, not having to, you know, move everything else. So, oops. So if I do this again, either manually, right? Or just dial something in, this is what happens. So it's pretty cool. Um, I do see one small issue. Um, I do want this title to stick to the left and um, this is where it should be. So I am going to go back to my components. The reason why it's good to have um, separate, easy to find, component page. And so this is really it. So for the prototype part, I'm just gonna connect this, um, ease in and out to 50 milliseconds, good by me. Same thing here. And then I'm gonna just select this one, this film card. And I'm gonna do while hovering, hovering, hovering. Uh, and I'm just going to drag it to here. So it will automatically, it should automatically pop in and out of um, 
of that zoom view. Perfect. So let's do this. Okay, so I'm just using my arrows. Boom. It's pretty simple. Uh, I feel like I'm just missing a little title down there. Boom. Boom. Cool. So it's pretty neat. Um, you know, if I wanted to, I could have a video play, I guess. Some animated image or something like that. But this is what it is. Auto layout. 